Remember when they hated, didn't think we make it Now they break their neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hate yourself, you can't look at me, look at me yeah. You made me Just a little dirty, had some stock residue on there. And what up, what up, what up? What's good with y'all? All right, so what are we getting into today? God damn, this highlight got me looking. I look like a ghost or maybe an angel. It's too bright. Hold on. Come on, focus, focus. What is going on here? Focus. Oh, God. The exposure rate is all jacked up. All right, so this video was upon request from a few people, and I get this a lot. People are always asking, how much does it cost to build this? How much do you have into this car? Uh, et cetera, et cetera. So today we're gonna be doing a breakdown, of, you know, what it would take, what it would cost y'all if y'all were interested in building one of these. But today the build that we're gonna be breaking down and kind of explaining how did it take to get here is going to be none other than the carbon fiber wide body C6. So thing is dirty right now, but let me wipe this thing down, clean it all up since I'm gonna be kind of showcasing it, going around it and showing y'all it. I think I kind of need to give it a quick uh, Daniel Sun wipe down real quick, wax on, wax off. And then we'll get into explaining exactly uh, how much I have into this car. And if you were to do it, how much would it cost you to build a wide body C6 like this? So let's clean this thing up. I mean, we were just sitting back, you know, <laughs> chopping it up, reminiscing about the good old days and all that, <laughs> you know, tracking my roots, where I came from and where I'm going. But like I say, man. All right, so now that she's clean, just a heads up before we get into it, um, parts like the headers, the X-pipe, um, the boiler out back, and the seats, these already came with the car. So I'm gonna be giving y'all the cost of what, you know, kind of what, what those will be going for. So everything on here is gonna be if you were to buy it yourself and if you were to build this exactly to spec how I have my car, exactly what it would cost. All right, so let's get started. So first things first, this is a 2008 C6. The 2008 C6s came with the LS3s, anything below, a uh, 2008 came with LS2, so if you're looking to get an LS3 model, you're going to be looking for a 2008 or up. Other than that, it's going to be an LS2 model, um, unless it's a Z06. The Z06s came with the LS7s, but for me, I didn't want a Z06. I actually like the, the LS3s over the LS7s, but personal preference, whether you're going all motor or boost, uh, totally up to you, but um, back on topic. So like I said, 2008 C6. Um, this car started its life as a base model car so base models didn't have any type of wide body at all they're just super flat bootied uh, they literally come with nothing just a base model all right so let's jump into it and let's start with the most obvious and identifiable thing about this car which would be the carbon fiber wide body kit a lot of people think that this is the super vest kit and let me just explain that this is not the super vest kit if you look and you notice the difference the super vet kit doesn't have this lip right here nor does it have this lip right here in the rear the super vets is a bit more smooth so it's not a super vest kit and then the Loma kit actually, instead of having the arches that swoop over, they actually come more straight and they don't have a lip also. And if you were interested in buying this exact wide body kit, right now these fenders are going for, front fenders are $2,530 for the fronts. And then if you wanted the rears, and the rears are right now listed at $2,314. So y'all don't think I'm capping. Here's the, here's the pricing right there. Currently out of stock. Then swipe over. There you go right there. And then moving down right here. 
we have these side skirts and just a heads up for y'all these aren't the uh, typical side skirts that you might see on ebay these side skirts are specially designed for this wide body but if you were interested in getting these side skirts you could actually get these from ss vets these side skirts are specific for the wide body as you can see because right here you have this kind of like uh back mud mud guard and the ones they offer on ebay for the z06 and the zr1 are not big enough to really fit the wide body so these basically sit in there perfectly flush uh these ones aren't carbon fiber these are actually wrapped carbon fiber uh at the time when i was getting these they didn't have any carbon fiber in stock so i didn't feel like waiting freaking uh 12 weeks for them so i got these ones and these ran me uh 1200 bucks plus uh, whatever shipping was so yeah these guys were 1200 bucks but like i said they're specific to the wide body and then moving this way we have the wheels these wheels are zr1 spec so they're 19 by nine and a half front and then we have 20 by 12 in the rear you can see sitting nice and flush with a 345 25 uh, 20 and then up front i'm running a 285 30. So if you're interested in getting these wheels, this wheel combo will run you about 1900 shipped and then whatever taxes would be. So you can just assume, let's say these would run you about two grand uh, to your front door. And then up here, up front, we have the front bumper that will be needed for this wide body kit. If you have a base model like this car was previously, the base model bumper will not work on your setup. The base model bumper is a bit short, it's not as wide. So what you will need is you will need a Z06 or ZR1 front bumper to match up with the wide body fenders. Uh, this front bumper I ordered brand new through GM and I got it shipped to my door for 900 bucks. It was more like eight, 891, 892 or whatnot. So uh, we'll just say, we'll just keep it at 890 to keep it, try to pre as precise as possible. So yeah, 890, 892, uh, 892 for this front bumper. And then moving on, you have these canards, which is, oh God, I'm sorry, I can't think of the company's name right now. And they actually uh, sent these over. Uh, if you were interested in getting these canards for this front bumper, these canards would run you about 250 bucks shipped. Then moving upwards, we have the hood the hood comes from the same company that the fenders come from so if you were interested in buying this hood this hood is fiberglass it is not carbon fiber but if you were interested in this exact same hood this hood would run you about 1300 bucks so after shipping and taxes let's just say this hood will will give you close to about 15 15 20 ish somewhere around there and then making our way down you have the carbon fiber front lip for this thing I ordered this front lip off eBay. Can't remember the seller. Uh, this lip was about 400 bucks. It is actual carbon fiber, it's not fiberglass. So let's add that to the total. 400 bucks for the front lip. And then we have one of my favorite aesthetics of the car, which are the headlights. These headlights are freaking beautiful. And I feel like everybody that has a C6 should put these on because the visibility on the stock lights are poop. So these are the Morimoto headlights. If you're interested in running these headlights, you can get these headlights from uh, numerous vendors, but these headlights will run you $1,400. But look how beautiful these things are. Look, check it out. B-E-A-U to full. Mind you, these are LED, so that's why they're flickering on camera, but $1,400 for the headlights. And then you can also get these corner markers right here, which uh, basically are pretty sick. So they give you this super bright laser beam up front indicator is orange then we go hit it again get that nice laser out back also so if you're interested in these indicator lights these indicator lights together for the front and rear would run you just under a hundred bucks you can get these for about 85 bucks and then coming down to the brake setup have a full Z06 brake conversion. You can find the full kit for uh, two grand online, but definitely a must uh, for people that are interested in upgrading their brakes. I would definitely say grab these things. These things feel night and day difference from the base model brakes. So two grand for the Z06 front and rear brake conversion. And moving down over here, these would be the, 
these are Z06 ZR1 splash guards, but these are the, the extended versions. You can get the smaller versions that don't stick out as far, or you can get these ones. Obviously, since my car is wider than Z06 and uh, ZR1 by inch and a half, I opted in to get the, uh, the bigger splash guards. So if you're interested in getting these splash guards, you can get these for about 280 bucks. And then you'll still need the rears. The rears are standard Z06 splash guards. And these are about the same. I think these are actually a little bit more, which I feel like I kind of overpaid, but I think these were about 320 shipped from GM. And then moving out back to what I think is probably one of the sickest additions to this car would be this rear spoiler setup. Sick little spoiler design. You could actually adjust the centerpiece up or down. If you were interested in running this spoiler, this spoiler is going to run you 600 bucks before shipping and taxing. So with the shipping, I think shipping was free shipping actually. And then I think taxes for California was uh, 50 bucks. So let's just say this was 650. This one is sick though. It came with like a plate from Innovation Auto Creations just to let you know like, hey, this ain't no replica, it's the real thing. It actually has a serial number and everything on when they made it. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty dope. So they basically send you a stamp like, hey bro, this ain't no rep. You got the real jammy. And bam, but this is a sick wing. I think this thing looks dope on the C6. And then moving down back here, we have the Morimoto tail lights. If you were interested in possibly getting the Morimoto tail lights, these things would run you a 570 after shipping and taxes to your front door. And you can see these are flickering because they are LEDs. So LEDs flicker uh, on cameras and stuff. Then we move it down to this beautiful, beautiful carbon fiber diffuser. The carbon fiber diffuser is made by the same company that makes the carbon fiber front fenders, carbon fiber rear fenders. So if you're interested in running the same exact carbon fiber diffuser on your C6, this carbon fiber diffuser would run you. This diffuser will run you 1250 bucks before shipping. So with shipping, you're looking at about just under 1400 bucks for this carbon fiber rear diffuser. All right, so that's most of the aero pieces. Now let's make our way to inside the car. For the most part, interior is pretty stock in this thing. Ah, I didn't clean the inside, my bad. All right, so remember I told you guys that the car actually came with these Corbo seats, but if you guys were interested in possibly getting a pair of these, they actually have a deal online right now. You can get these Corbo seats with the sliders and the, uh, the seat mounts for just under 1200 bucks. They're about 1180 ship to your front door a lot of places are offering free shipping you can get these seats for i think eight they're like 840 on summit for the pair and then if you're looking at getting the rails and sliders and stuff or if you're looking at getting the the seat mounts the seat mounts would run you about 260 bucks for the pair and then moving to the front right here we have this oem style steering wheel but it has a nice custom carbon insert over here up top oem oem based wheel just modified there's companies that uh, do this. So if you were interested in something like this, depending on how much carbon you get, some companies offer carbon up here and offer carbon down there. So uh, for my personal steering wheel, this steering wheel would run you just under $1,000. But if you were doing carbon at the bottom, they can be anywhere from 1,200 to 1,600 bucks, depending on material and how crazy you want to go with the wheel. And then let's pop this thing and head over to the engine bay. So we can see the goods under here. Whoa. So for the most part, this is a stock LS3, but it does have cook long tubes, cook X pipe. And if you're interested in the cooks long tube with the cook X pipe combo, that combo is going to run you uh, 1900 bucks. So yeah, if you were interested in these cook headers, along with the X pipe, this setup is going to run you just under two grand. You can see here, 1930 before taxes with free shipping. So it's definitely going to run you about two grand to do that setup. Then we have the K&N intake setup. This intake setup, if you were interested in this, this setup will run you $499 free shipping. But after taxes, you're looking at about 550 shipped to you for the cold air intake setup. And then moving out back, which is my favorite sounding exhaust for this thing, is you have the Boiler Type S out back. And if you were interested in this boiler, this boiler setup would run you 
about 1300 bucks. So I have Hotcha Square Bars on the front and rear. You see it right there. These would run you about 520 for the front and rear shipped to your front door. And then as far as power adders go, this car runs a BTR Stage 3 NA cam, uh, stock heads. But when I did my head setup, I did pretty much the full BTR kit. I did the LS7 lifters, new push rods, took the heads off, resurfaced them. Uh, we ran new head gaskets, ARP uh, hardware and everything. So I think after labor and everything, I paid about 3100 for uh for this whole setup and then obviously we had to get it tuned the tune was a few hundred bucks but that's going to be a difference between you know tuners that, that depending on the price so no point in listing how much the tune costs but as far as labor and everything goes you're looking at roughly i say most shops do it between three grand and 3500 depending on who you go to what parts you get and then as far as suspension goes this thing is on bc coilovers you guys probably can't see them in there but these are standard bc coilovers love these things these things ride fantastic but you can get bc coilovers on damn near any website for 9.99 so after shipping and taxes you're looking at maybe i say uh probably about uh, 10.50 or so to get the coilovers to your house because usually they offer those in free shipping but these things ride fantastic dude like the car is hella comfortable no complaints about the bc's on here so now y'all kind of have a rough estimate on what it would cost if you guys were to if you guys were trying to build a c6 like this uh, prices are give and take obviously you know i had a few deals on it some of the stuff came with the car as far as the exhaust headers and the seats other than that everything else i pretty much did uh, for the for, for the fenders i got these things at half off so you know i got a sponsor deal through them i didn't pay full price for the hood i paid full price for the wing i got a deal on the diffuser so you know you can uh hit up companies and, and see what they can do but luckily for me i was able to get you know deals on things you know it definitely wasn't cheap at all to do luckily for me when i got uh, my wide body kit i knew the, the guy who actually makes these and i reached out to him uh, ordered a bunch of parts from him and he actually hooked me up with a deal on my wide body kit and since then we've become like you know super cool so he's actually uh, one of my sponsors granted that i still have to pay but luckily i'm able to get you know these for damn near 50 percent off on anything i need aero related for my for my corvettes so yeah shout out to pete man appreciate you bro if you're watching this big thanks this car dynoed at 475 horsepower to the floor with 455 foot pounds of torque so that's the pricing to get you pretty much roughly roughly this and the initial cost of the car we can add that in there i bought this car for fifteen thousand dollars but anywho i was just telling y'all how much i love the way this boiler sounds long mashed up with these cook headers so let me start this thing up because i know y'all want to hear it and i know y'all want to see some driving footage of it The thing I love about Saks Speed Shop, who did my heads, is listen to this. My valve train up top is super quiet. I know a lot of people that do uh, do their cam setup, and, and and once they're done, like their valve train is hella loud and ticking. Whereas up here, my car is hella quiet up top. No wild ticking, nothing. Man, this boiler sounds good though. Nice, nice chomp out back. All right, since we did all that talking and going over, I know you guys wanna see this thing actually in action, so 
we gonna jump in here and we gonna head out get some driving footage maybe some runs in this thing if we run into something on the freeway and show you that this is a fantastic street car windows down a little bit so y'all can get a little bit of engine noise but the suspension on here works super good this car has so much grip with the tire setup it's crazy freeway where are you oh here we go it is a turn Man, I've already slammed most of this, but God, this is smacking. Hella good. What are you doing? Hold on. You honk. actually looking at ISS that's crazy those cars are so sick to me <laughs> this thing is sick bruh nice hold on Watch this little kid coming up. He was wildin'. Yo, look, wildin'. What's up, man? <laughs> I see you hanging out the window and stuff, man. I watch all your videos. Oh, for sure. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it, bruh. Y'all have a good one. I love love like that, man. Little kid was hella juiced. I seen him in the rear view hanging out the window like <laughs> man if y'all watch this man i appreciate the love yo y'all see y'all in the video for sure thank you for the love bro i really do appreciate appreciate that shit like that is what fuels me man especially seeing it when it's kids like that kids be hella juice to see you know see cars or see you or whatever it's like man at one point i was a kid and i remember seeing dope cars and be like yo rev it so you know 
the adult love is dope, but man, the kid love is it, it hit different because at one point we were all kids and we all had that enthusiasm and you know I can't wait till I get older to build a car. So yeah, man, appreciate y'all. Thank you. Your boy stuck in traffic. So I guess this is a good time to end the video. We got some fun. Y'all know how much this thing costs. We got some runs. You guys see it performs well. So yeah, appreciate y'all for watching. We outie. I've been going too crazy. These niggas too shady. Speed limit 65. I'm about to do.